Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you one of the most important topic that is sandbox versus live account. So in most of the cases, people forget about sandbox, but that is because they don't have the information related to sandbox. So it is important to know about the sandbox uh, account and then after use this kind of feature from any of the organization. For example, you are working with any payment gateway or any other API where you are you needed some testing before publishing your uh, things online. So why it is important? First of all, let me tell you what is Sandbox account. So in most of the cases when you are implementing payment gateways, so you might have heard about that before publishing uh, your payment gateway online, or maybe call it live, you need to test it one, uh, for multiple times so that you get to know that transactions are successful and how the codings, coding is going on and how you are handling those uh, uh, situations. For example, you wanted to send an email to your customers after payment, or maybe if you are interested to store the data into your database. So obviously that would be uh, done in the testing, testing phase. So how you can do that uh, without the actual uh, deduction of the amount from your account is using the sandbox. So sandbox is actually uh, the kind of account which is provided by payment gateway or any other payment, uh, API provider who is helping you to test your uh, data, test your, uh, uh, test your integration. And in that way, you get the surety that the system is working fine and now we can move ahead with the uh, live utilization. So for example, you have million of customers online and you are interested to uh, get the payment from them. And at the time of payment, if they are, uh, they are uh, facing any problem, so that is the big disadvantage. That's it. That is the dis discouragement for your customers. So it's always better to uh, do the stuff before uh, going to live. So how you will be doing all those stuff is using the sandbox account. So whenever you are doing any integration, so always do sandbox integration first, and then after you need to move ahead with the live. So uh, I wanted to make you sure that uh, if you are using sandbox, so that is like they are providing you test uh, API credentials, test account details like credit card number, uh, CVC code and uh, uh, dummy date. So you can also use any future date uh, while integration. So this is helping you to uh, improve your uh, systems uh, system and you can also make it more robust. For example, you have multiple issues so you can solve while testing. Otherwise, if you are going live and people are using your system and you already know that if there is something which is wrong, uh, so at that moment, if there is there are bigger transactions, so you will uh, have lost a lot of money and the customer which would also lose the trust on you. Why? Because they will be thinking that this system is not secure enough and we are no more trusting on this specific uh, provider. So that is important. So you always need to take care that while using the system before implementing everything, you need to use the sandbox first. So other than that, for example, you are uh, Stripe. So Stripe is always always providing the uh, test mode. And if you are using PayPal, so PayPal is also providing you the test mode. And uh, there are a couple of other payment gateways uh, where you can also use the test mode before going to the live. So make sure that you use those things. And uh, I have already mentioned to you that what is the importance? The importance is that you will not lose the trust of your customers if your system is more robust and system become more robust only when you have done the proper testing. So always keep your testing process more and more strict. And that would be happening only if you have used sandbox credentials, because in the sandbox, we don't have any, any kind of limit uh, for uh, doing the transactions, for doing the testing. But in the live, for example, you are uh, doing the transactions transaction of five US dollars, 10 US dollars. So always you will be, uh, you will be consuming some fee uh, over there. So that is a little bit uh, difficult for you to handle, but in the test mode, you can always use for free. So they are, pro they, they have no limitation at all. So you can just use those uh, API credentials and uh, those test data like uh, 
card or maybe any other thing so in that way you could able to understand the whole process while developing your system so thank you so much for watching this video i had to uh, show you the importance in this video so in the next video i will be showing you more things which are really helpful for you so keep watching the videos so thank you so much uh, bye for now